Hi, this is Don Sparks from Grace Engineered Products. And uh, I want to take a few minutes and do a quick video. We had a customer uh, request like a five minute training video to cover a few of the uh, operational modes of the R3W. This is the standard R3W, um, uh, eight lights, so two LEDs per phase and two LEDs on ground, which is uh, significant. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Also, uh, here's one that's lit up. The blue face um, voltage indicators are all class one div two. The ground may in normal operation be either on or off. A lot of people think the ground is always off. That's not always the case. And we'll talk about some of those. So I mentioned two LEDs per phase. One in an AC operation, one of those LEDs will light on the top half of the sine wave. One will light on the negative aspect of the sine wave. On DC, only one of those will light. So since LEDs are rectifiers, so only one of those will light. You can also see, um, you walk up to a panel and it looks like one of the phases are gone, but the ground came off. That is how the ground lights on imbalance. So since this is three phase, if you know, they're 120 degrees out and you have two phases that are 120 degrees out instead of 90 degrees, that ground will come on. And there are other normal cases. Also, if you lose two phases or if they're single phase, there's the, uh, this in particular case shows L2 and ground on. So you have those uh, modes also. So why <clears throat> does the ground come on in some cases and off in other in other cases. So there are some normal operations and, and the way that this is connected that will allow the ground on or off. A lot of this is covered in our um, installation page. Also shows some additional um, accessories and units to cover the wires and mounting options for the R3W. Um, the biggest issue that you will have on the ground light being on or off will be what is the R3W connected to on the secondary side of the transformer. So in both these cases, if the secondary is a delta or a Y, um, the ground light will probably be off most of the time because these are both a balanced situation. And until you create some imbalance, then the ground light will not come on. So if you lose a phase or there's a lot of power factors, say a big uh, high horse motor starts, you'll see a ground light come on temporarily and then back off. But anytime there's imbalance, so you can see with your multimeter, you can also usually see uh, some of that on the voltage indicator. Um, this situation, these are both would normally be balanced. So whether it's a tapped, center tapped Y with ground or a not center tap. So if you have a floating ground, and we do have some facilities in this country that are floating ground. They don't have a contiguous a continuous ground that they're connected to. And that's also something to think about. So if you have one of those facilities that you're an ungrounded facility, if you have a case where one of these goes to ground, that ground light will light up. So it can indicate that one of those phases to ground and you may not have another indication since uh, that's why we built ungrounded facilities originally was so you didn't cascade a minor failure back to the main like in a uh, coal plant. Uh, the original coal plants. But yeah, those would remain off. <clears throat> this situation, you're almost always going to have the ground light on. This is a grounded B phase. So there's always imbalance. So that, that ground light would, would always be on in this situation or the last situation with the grounded delta. And also with this one, this is another type of center tap ground uh, delta uh, used on single phase. So if you have a three phase uh, transformer on the pole out by your house, they will take off like this for your single phase energy in your house. And since there's always imbalance here, that ground light, that there's always potential voltage, that ground light would be on. So hopefully that helps with uh, some of the understanding. We do um, have several of these units out in the field, literally in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, very few failures, it's been a very robust product. Uh, the two LEDs per phase also, if you have one LED out, generally means you might have a problem with the indicator. 
Uh, so it is a diagnostic, but it also shows the single phase. It also shows if I only have one phase. And uh, the one I like the most is that right there. If I get a disconnect that is stuck, uh, and you'll also see that the energy goes away slowly. We have some capacitors in here to show that. And that happens a lot in the field. So the dissipation of energy, uh, it shows on this disconnect, which is uh, unlike most other products that are out there, they usually just go up immediately, but you actually see the discharge. And the one I like the most is when it looks like this, you may have a stuck blade on your disconnect. So stuck blade is a very dangerous situation uh, for old electricians like myself. We've seen those out in the field and it also shows those. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch our video on uh, one of our, our prime products, the PESD permanent electrical safety devices, voltage indicators. We hope you'll continue to uh, support us and use our products. And thank you uh, again for your business. Please don't hesitate to call about any questions. Uh, you can uh, get me, I'm the uh, regional sales manager for most of the East, and we also have technical resources that can talk about these issues also. Thanks again for your time.